Let's go, guy. I have mad respect for guy. This will definitely be interesting because I think this is a really hard matchup for uh, for Toon Link. Okay, so we're just doing rock paper scissors. K Coon's one, which is fair. He got the read. Okay, so we're going to start off on Town and Sea. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Did... I think someone forgot their controls. No, they both got their controls fine. Oh! He has tap jump on. Is that the only change k -Koons makes? I've, I've never actually, like, watched him make controls before. He had all that time for Tano Circus to beat Lucrecio and he still didn't set his tag up. Some people, man. Yes, hello streaks, it's FIR. I waved my hand and then realised that you can't see me. I uh, I let my salt die down and then came on commentary because obviously DX is, is less than uh, well at the moment. Oh, and here become the Diddy things. The Diddy things have started. Up tilt strings, very nice from Itano, but K Kun is getting out them just before the up smash came out. Oh, where was where was that down air going? Yeah, shout outs to DX. Came and set up the stream even though he was super ill. Bless his soul. Ooh, that banana catch. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought that was going to take it. No fair, no fair. Oh, nice read from Atono Circus. That was great. So, what Itano Circus needs to do right now is just not approach. He has the lead, he just needs to, uh, as Wami memes all the time, he just needs to take a step back, assess the situation, chill out, yeah? Um, he, although his lead is less now that he lost his stock to down tilt to imagination, uh, he's, oh, he's no longer in the lead, so my point is irrelevant, but... Oh, on the down air, because he stayed on ledge too long. That's unfortunate for Itano Circus, because he took a nice early lead in that game. And then, uh, unfortunately, Diddy things happened. But maybe Itano can bring it back coming into game three. So we're going to Battlefield. I'm not sure if this is a good decision or not. Um, I think Diddy's pretty good with platforms. Because platform cancel side B is just stupid. 
Oh, nice bomb placement from Guy there. Man, Guy is playing on point tonight. He's just camping above the platforms. I suppose this is why, like, Guy picked this stage because he can just, uh, he can just throw bombs from a distance in the air, and Kaykoons has to come up and get him. Flip kick going through the boomerang there. Because Diddy. Oh, that down there was so close to hitting. He might have been able to get a reset off of that as well if it hadn't like spiked him off stage. Oh, that spot dodge was really nice from Antonio Circus there. I really don't get how Guy always seems to find the time to pull bombs. Like, no matter how... No matter how, like, how much space, like, you invade on him, he still manages to pull up bomb. It's kind of crazy. So, I'm just watching over, and Zone Ixis is last stock right now. On game 3. Uh, and down tilt to imagination is going to take it again. Can Atano Circus make a really nice comeback right now? I'll throw it up air, but the bomb does stop any follow up from that. Which is always good. That's what you want from Toon Link. Okay. The Ixis, the Ixis upset didn't happen, so I did lose game 3, but, I mean the fact he's taken Ixis to game 3 is... Oh, and that up smash read on the side B! Up tilt, ooh, I don't think that, I think that was supposed to be a pivot up tilt, but he got, um, reverse, uh, dash attack instead. Okay, so Kaykoons is starting to, like, get on to when Itano Circus is gonna run away and pull a bomb, and is punishing him for it. Which is kinda like a massive part of how to win neutral against, uh, Toon Link. Ooh, and he goes for the down air read, but doesn't quite manage to get it. Itono Circus burning his double jump quite early there, but managing to get back to ledge, so it's fine. Nice recovery there, getting back onto the stage. Oh, that... I like the attempt of the grab, but just didn't quite work out. Nice forward throw into the boomerang. Oh, nice DI from Antono Circus, getting out of that down tilt to imagination. Man, Antono Circus at 167%. Any stray hit from Diddy will take it. But Guy is pulling some risky stuff to try and get... It's a game three, but unfortunately... Doesn't quite manage it. Kekuns takes the set 2-0, but really impressive showing from Itano Circus actually, really, really nice. Um, don't think I've seen him play that good in a while. Kekuns obviously a very good player. Okay, so we've got Plastic Pop-Tart and Luigi Mitsu on the, on the stream next.